one two three what's happening guys welcome back to a brand new episode of stationeers today is episode 30 we have made it to a rounded 30 episodes i'm pretty excited to have made it this far and i am actually quite enjoying myself uh in the last episode we made our uh quote unquote miners they're just auto lathes but uh yeah so we have we have 10 auto lathes and we we just managed to make them in the last episode we didn't manage to automate them in any way uh so that's what we're going to be doing uh today so you can see that uh, they're kind of all just set on random stuff right now. This was uh, to demonstrate what I've discovered. I think the rest of them are probably set on iron. Oh, that one says kit wall as well. That one also says kit wall. Okay. Okay, so apparently I did a bunch of them. So, the idea is, if I now... So, like, uh, say I wanted to make iron. This is the only thing this is currently set up to do. Uh, because I was just testing to see if... Um, the logic actually worked. So if I click on this logic, boom, just like that, I can shut it off. We can now see that uh, it didn't work. Oh, uh, <laughs> what? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, it was working earlier. Why isn't it working now? Uh, okay. Well, this is weird. It was working. It's not now. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't know what to do about that. Why is it not working now? Should be working. Okay, well, this is kind of weird because it was working a minute ago, and now it's not. Oh, wait, this isn't set. SP hash. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stop. Oh, uh, look what happened. <laughs> well, we got some iron over there. Uh, is he set right now? I don't know how that got cleared. Iron. Iron. Okay, so that's set now. I don't know what happened there. It was all ready to go when I started recording. Somehow this recipe has got switched. Okay. So if we shut this guy off, and I change the recipe on this to be like that, we change this one to be like that, this just per se, I mean, they would all be changed, but this is just in theory. If I turn this back on, um, okay, interesting. Uh, it's not working for some reason. All right, uh, well, I'm not exactly sure why it's not working now. I'm a little bit irritated, honestly. Because it was just working. It was just working just fine. And now it's not. Oh, okay. It worked now. Okay, so it had to detect a change. That's no big deal. 
I'm not worried about that. Is that even a recipe? Nope, it's not, not for this guy. Okay, so it has to detect a change. I'm not worried about that because it's always going to be detecting a change when it needs to change. So like if we just change a bunch of these real quick. Again, I just wanted to make sure it's working. Let's go ahead and change just a, a, a random amount of these. Okay, so now if I come over here and we shut the batch writer off, increase this, decrease this, and then turn it on. Will it change? Okay, no, so it has to be done while it's running. Okay, that's no big deal. They will be anyway. So now they all say iron. It has to probably do something with how the batch writer works. We're not too concerned about that because that's going to work for what we're doing anyway. Uh, so <laughs> that's fine. Honestly, it's fine. So what I've started on, and it's going to take me a while to finish. We're going to get rid of this uh, logic I.O. And we're going to do this with uh, one of these guys, an icy housing. Uh, because they're just the obvious way. I know I use them for literally everything lately because <laughs> I'm addicted. A. Hey. I'm addicted to how ICs work. This needs to change to be a straight. Okay, here we go. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Put that away? Okay. So, let's test out if this guy, I've been writing a bit of program and I wanted to test it, but I wanted to be able to show you guys what I was working on uh, before I started tearing it apart. So here's the code so far. I don't know if this works though, so we're gonna find out. Oh, what did that say? Oh no, it'll be fine. Oof, it's a lot of bytes already. Okay, so let's place this guy down. Uh, I can't remember where, uh, let's see, is it R1? No, zero is the recipe selector. So, the idea of how I want this to work is we're gonna have a switch, or we're gonna have a dial here, just like this. Uh, so let's just place down this dial and let's get it hooked up real fast. Alright, I need these guys. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So the idea is that we'll have this recipe selector here kind of thing. That's what I'm calling this guy. So we're just going to increase this a random amount. doesn't really matter. Um, and we're going to set this guy to see that dial. Okay. So if we turn it on... It doesn't throw an error, which is a good sign. But if I select this up to, say, if we go, okay, increase one. Uh, it should have changed the state. It didn't. Okay. Well, so there's maybe something bugged in the code yet. Because uh, it should be chasing, changing the state on the IC housing. But the idea is that it reads this, uh, it reads this dial, and then it sets the state based on what the dial says. Uh, recipe selector. Uh, okay, it should be working. So that's how, that's the idea of how this is going to work. It's going to read what this dial says, whether it says, you know, 1 or 15 or, or however many it ends up going up to, and then it's going to output the housing to be there, and then the batch reader is going to read the housing and set all of the um, lathes or miners to make that item. So that's the idea. But as you can see, the code's not quite working yet. I just wanted to give you guys kind of an idea of what's going on. And I'm going to have to actually finish it now. So, um, yeah, I'll be back uh, when I have more code written. Okay, uh, I'm back. A significant amount of time passed. I actually stopped recording for many hours. Because uh, this took a lot longer than it should have. And you'll notice quite a bit changed in between the episodes for just... Or between the, uh, the cut here because of debugging and stuff. I'll show you guys the program here. So here's the finished program. Uh, this part's not really needed, but that doesn't matter. So... I I need to tidy it up. The code's still a little bit messy, but this is the full code. Uh, it does work now. I had a lot of problems getting it to work. Uh, it took me 
a lot of debugging to get it to actually uh, work properly. So as you can see, I added a console to see what's um, what's being made in the uh, in the, the things or what it's being told to made. And then there's a little, little dial, of course, as I showed you guys. So if I increase it, it says gold, increase it again, copper, nickel, as you guys see. So this is just reading out what the dial's saying. It was just a debug thing while I was um, trying to get this to work because I had some issues with it. You can see, just like that. All the way up to, uh, I need to decrease this switch one. So it only goes to 13 now. Or it only goes to 12. There we go. So, you'd be like, ah, oh, we need some um, uranium. Boom, there we go. So this will show us what we're making. And then this allows you to select what you need to make. So now, this stuff is not going to sit right here because <laughs> it's in the middle of everything. So we need to, We're gonna. I think we're going to mount it on this wall here. We're going to have the monitor probably above, like here. And then we'll have the switch probably just below it. These will probably go like down here along this wall. And then we also need to add one more um, a switch or something to actually tell them to process. So um, we need to move all of this stuff down here. So not only does it show up here, but it does actually change all of them, as you guys can see. Just like that. Perfect. We can make uranium now if we wanted a lot of it. Or if we wanted to, uh, let's go like four. Nickel. Wanted to make nickel. Boom. They've all been changed to nickel. Just like that. So we still do need to add a button uh, to tell them to all activate. So we're going to have to dig out a little bit here. Uh, let's pull this up. Why is that there? Okay. Give me this guy. And we're going to dig this guy out. Because I think I want to put him down here. We're going to need a light. Okay, so let's dig this out a little bit. We're just going to flatten this out a little bit so we can have room down here. Okay, so all that stuff is going to come down here. There should be enough room for it all. Okay, you go back in there. Okay. And then we are going to have to put a sheet on here so we can get that. And we're going to need to take out this guy. And we're going to have to deconstruct. Okay, so we're just going to shut this section off. And we're going to move all this stuff at once. Uh, we do need to add um, another switch and probably another batch uh, writer, I believe it's going to be. Okay, so let's go ahead. And then we're probably going to name this stuff as well. Just to make things a little bit nicer. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out. It turned out to be 2,698 bytes. So it's a, it's a big program. It's twice the size of almost all the other ones we have. So it's a big, it's a big one. Uh, this is going to be interesting to just, okay. So let's, um, my inventory is, oh, what the heck? Stack. Okay. Uh, we're going to need a tool of this guy. And uh, let's just uh, go on the ground. How about that? Yeah, you are going to go down here. I already know where he's going. He's going down here. Um, that should be fine there. Yeah, I think so. This batch rider has to go down with it. 
Put him right next to it. Oh, I didn't set it as a batch rider. Batch rider. Okay. And then we need to add another batch rider as well. We'll put it right here. <laughs> batch rider. There we go. Batch rider, batch rider. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this doesn't need to go back up. Oh, it's a council. This takes a crowbar because of the glass on the top. Uh, we do need an iron sheet. Oh, I have a bunch on me. Look at that. Okay, um, oh. I need to weld that up just partially for now. It might stay like that, but we have to get the shoots in too, so. Uh, we're going to do council. Uh, which way? It was displaying this way, so we need to have the switch down. We'll put it, how about up there? Is that too high? What if we're standing? Ah, it's not too high. It's all right. Uh, you can go back in there. So we'll take this guy, put him in there. It might have to be configured again. Oh, which is actually not hard. Let's put that in there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we just need to put the uh, logic switch back on. Dial. What in the hell is going on here? There we go. Got our dial. Oh, uh, we need to put the glass back in this guy. Glass. Okay. It's, everything has to be hooked up yet. So this will probably be a solid block, but we have to bring all the shoots to here first before we can do that. So uh, just for now, it'll be like this. Okay. Let's uh, let's name some stuff. Uh, this will be uh, recipe selector. Ash display. Uh, right. I will leave that as I see. Uh, recipe writer uh, on off. Uh, so let's call it a state writer, I guess. Okay. So we do need another switch. I don't know if I have one. Let's put you away. Go. Okay. Uh, let's go put the um, program back in it. Actually, I need to modify this a little bit. So uh, Before we put it back in, otherwise it's going to have a fit about it. So we'll just put it in there for now. Uh, we do need... Uh, I don't think I'm going to have one, but we'll look anyway here. No, we don't. Okay, so we need a... Um, you know, I have all this stuff in here right now. Um, we need a logic switch. Should be in here anyway. There it is. Let's make one logic switch here real quick. Uh, 
Uh, okay. So let's put... You know, I think we'll have it be set as a switch. Because we want to be able to shut it off. I think this needs to be kind of tight in here. Sideways? Sure. Okay. Okay, on off. This will actually turn them on and off. Oh, you know what? I don't think that can go there. Because we won't be able to get to that. That's annoying. Okay. I guess it's gonna have to go... There. No, it can't go there either. God dang it. Why won't it... Why can't it go over here? Okay. Well, it doesn't want to go on the edge either. could go there. Okay. Oh, that's where it's going. Relabel it. There we go. Okay. So, we have to get this all cabled up now. Shouldn't that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's switch to this guy. And then I have to modify that code, and then we should be good to go. Connect that into there. Okay. All right, we just gotta get this all connected up here. Okay. Okay, I think they're all connected. Oh, this one down here. Will this turn on now? No. Okay. Oh, because it's off. Okay. It will turn on now. Right. Okay. Off. We gotta finish wiring stuff up first. Okay. Okay, we need to set this to um, 12. I think it has to be reconfigured. Yeah, I did. Okay. There we go. All you have to do is put a data disk in it. No big deal. There we go. Okay. Now we just got to set the logic up and we should be should be pretty good to go here. Okay, input on off. It's going to output to auto lathes activate 
Okay. This is going to be icy housing. It's going to output to the auto lathes. It's going to be recipe hash. Turn that one on. All right, I need to edit this first. Uh, but this one is going to be connected to um, recipe selector. That should be all we have to input on that. That's why I have to edit this quick. So I'm going to just cut, cut real fast and um, edit this, and then we'll be right back. So I'm back. I think we're getting pretty close to wrap up. It's kind of hard to tell because I had to cut this into two parts, but I think we're pretty close to our wrap up. Well, that's a good sign. It's working. Okay, looks like it's working, my dudes. So let's go back. Um, yeah, it goes to zero. There's nothing at zero, but it just defaults to iron. This defaults to the last thing that it was on, usually. Hey, there's a stack of copper down here. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, let's put that in there. Uh, we're going to have to... I want to test it to make sure it's going to work. I think... I'm not sure where we're at, because I think it was 9, 20... We're close to being near a wrap-up time, I think. Really hard to tell. Yeah, I think we're close to a wrap-up. So we'll probably wrap this up here pretty soon. Uh, but I want to test this to see if it's actually going to produce. Okay. It works. Uh, but you can't stop it. Okay. Okay. Well, this is a problem. Stop. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fast. It's so fast. Look at all the iron. <laughs> oh my god. We made so much iron already. We gotta go pick it all up now by hand. Feels good, man. Oh my god. Yep, over a stack. Okay, so that wasn't um, that wasn't ideal because we want it to stop. We don't want it just to keep running. Oh, there's a there's a bunch more down there yet. So I shut off the switch and didn't stop. So we have to find a way to make it stop running. Short of just cutting the power on it. Because, you know, that's not exactly ideal. There we go. Get those cooked up. Alright. Maybe that'll be for another episode. We'll sort out how exactly we're going to handle that in the next episode. <laughs> I'm not sure how we're going to get it to shut off. Short of just flicking the power off. Uh, I'm not sure. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, throw down a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're feeling like doing that. And thanks for watching.